the FX market has clearly reconsidered its initial reaction to the Fed decision, which actually did deliver on its promise of a dovish hike. While it's true the Fed chair could have opted to sound more dovish, the reality of the situation is the Fed has set the stage to scale back the normalization process in 2019. This was also reflected in the Fed's dot plot, which adjusted lower from three hikes in 2019 to just two. Then if we see the type of shakeup in the equity market that we're seeing now continue into 2019, that Fed outlook could quickly change to no rate hikes in 2019. Elsewhere, the pound took in its latest Bank of England decision, which ended up producing the result expected, which was an on-hold decision with the central bank unable to do much at all until the Brexit uncertainty passes. UK Parliament will be heading off for an extended holiday break before reconvening on January 7th, which means things could get quiet on Brexit until then. On the data side, UK retail sales was a boomer, coming in well above expectation on net, even with some downward revisions to the previous print, which didn't hurt the pound, though the market wasn't going to fixate too much on the data with all things Brexit determining direction. Meanwhile, in the US, initial jobless claims were slightly better, while the Philly Fed proved to be a major letdown. Looking to Friday's highlights, they include growth data out of the UK, Canada, and US, Canada retail sales, US core PCE, and